The Glassmaker Act 5 is the last act of Nightwave Season 3. Just like the previous acts, it requires you to search and examine evidence pieces. This one, however, features a boss fight with the Glassmaker Nahil. In this video, I'll be showing you clues about how to find all the evidence pieces and everything you need to know about how to beat the Glassmaker. When you enter the Glassmaker Episode 5, you'll be greeted with a cutscene inside of an Orican room covered in infestation. In this room, there'll be five pieces that you need to find in order to complete the act. These pieces are a ceremonial weapon, a glass shard, an orokin legum, ancient shackles, and a weave conduit. The locations and details on certain pieces will change from player to player, but I hope by showing you what to expect that you'll have better luck finding them in your own mission. For the ceremonial weapon, the type of weapon that it is changes, and it can either be a sword, a dagger, or a glaive. For the glass shards, the shape and the color of it can change. For the Oregon legum, the image in the middle will change. For the ancient shackles, the number that you see in the text box will change. And lastly, for the weave conduit, the markings that you see at the bottom will change. After you've inspected all five evidence pieces, then the statue in the middle of the room will change, revealing an Oregon figure. You will need to interact with the statue and spend five Cephalite Resonance in order to access the Crime Simula. Once in the Crime Simula, you'll have 60 seconds to step on the matching platform that matches the evidence you got throughout the act. After you've made it to the final platform, you'll need to interact with the pillar in the middle, which will create a shortcut scene before loading you into the boss fight. When you enter the boss fight, you'll be standing on one of many glass platforms, and Nahil will spawn in the middle. In this fight, you won't have any of your weapons, and you won't be able to access your operator mode. At the start of the fight, Nahil will be completely invincible, and will try to attack you with many different attacks. One of these attacks is he shoots glass from his forehead, if this glass hits you, then you'll become partly glass and it will greatly reduce your movement speed. If you're able to dodge it and it falls on one of the platforms, then you can pick it up and you need to throw it at one of the shards floating around you that matches evidence from previous Nightwave episodes. If you do this correctly, then Nihil will become vulnerable and you can use the same glass shards that he shoots at you in order to attack him. It takes about 3 or so glass shards to completely deplete one section of his health. If you hold the glass shards for too long, then it will explode in your hand and partially glass you. And if you let it stay on the platform for too long, then it will explode and destroy that part of the platform. After you've destroyed one section of Nahil's health, you'll have to repeat the process of finding a shard that matches previous episodes and attacking it in order to make him vulnerable again. When fighting Nahil, you need to be very careful of his attacks and movements. He's able to teleport at different points of the map, and he can destroy the platform that you're standing on with his sword attack. If it hits you, then it will one-shot you no matter your health level. After you've completely reduced Nahil's health, then another cutscene will play and the mission would end. After the mission ends, then you'll receive a message from Nora Knight that gives you the Glassmaker's weapon, the Vitrica, and your own tiny little Nihil in a bottle decoration that you can place anywhere in your ship. And that was everything you need to know about how to complete Glassmaker Act 5 and how to defeat Nahil. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, share with someone who will find it useful, and subscribe for more content like this in the future.